pump, pump, pump. I like my little beaver. She's very good to me. She gets me what I want and where I need to be. At school, she lay there sleeping, waiting for some nice guy who'd take me out and wine me and some nice meal would buy. One day, he just came knocking. He knocked me up just fine, the bastard, then said that we could lose it with lots of gin and wine. The borsap even wanted to marry me just flannel. So I said, let's go do it, and then had it annulled. <laughs> My dad worked in TV. I had to be a star. I got the bang, dear Trevor, I knew that I'd go far. We married in Jamaica, on the beach with some grass. Then quickly I got bored with him, kicked him out on his ass. So I needed time to rest, went for a ride on a yacht, and very quickly learned that anyone can be bought. The sea air was so healthy, I never caught a fever. But it really stings when salt gets in your beaver. Got to go to Toronto, some producers to see. I lied, but still got hired, and the role, it suited me. My poor little beaver, she never worked so hard, so many men to please, I needed a rear guard. And then I met dear Marcus, he helped my little friend. He found her many takers, and liked to play tight end. Soho was a good step up. I started my final search. There was just one I wanted and married him in church. He had to be real famous, but also a bit slow. One morning I asked Marcus, he said he knew a pro. My best friend needed resting, too many morning rinses. Then Emmy got me to meet one of the royal princes. Not the one I wanted but I thought I'd better stay. My front bottom would be safe. I'd heard that he was gay. And so the story ends, my friend. The beaver rests. She's great. And I rest too. No more pump pump. Thanks to all my surrogates.